Hi, my name is Nicole Young, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add film grain to a photograph. You may want to add grain if you are trying to recreate a film look. In this example, I've added a LUT file using the color lookup adjustment layer to kind of give it a film style effect. To complete this look, I'm going to add film grain. Another reason you may want to add grain is if you've created a composite where you've merged a lot of photos together. Adding film grain is a great way to kind of cohesively bring all of those images together so they do look like they came from the same source. So I'm going to begin over in the layers panel and I'm going to add a new blank layer. Next I'm going to fill this layer with 50% gray. So I'll use my keyboard shortcut, shift delete, and then up in the contents I'm going to select 50% gray. I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to go back to that layers panel and I'm going to convert this layer into a smart object. This is optional, you don't need to do this step, but it is helpful if you want to retain the ability to re-edit the film grain in this layer. So I'm going to right click over this layer and select convert to smart object. Next, I'm going to change the blending mode of this down to overlay. Now when you have anything in an image that is 50% gray, it makes that color transparent. And then anything that is dark or light will actually retain that luminosity value and show it in your photograph. So let's go ahead and add that grain so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll go up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Now the most important thing that you want to do here is you want to make sure that monochromatic is checked. By default, it's a color noise effect that's added, but we want to give this just a general grainy look. So I'll check monochromatic, and then it's just a matter of playing with the amount slider to see what kind of effect you want. If you look in the image, you can actually see the grain changing as I increase the slider. Bringing that slider to the right is going to increase the amount, and then moving it to the left is going to decrease it. So from here, it's really just a matter of how grainy you want your photo to look. You can also play around with those distribution toggles to see which one you prefer. And you can preview by checking this little box and then watching the grain change in your image preview. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And I can also toggle this layer on and off to preview my results. Now, as I mentioned previously, by converting this layer to a smart object, I'm now able to go back and re-edit that grain adjustment if I'd like. And to do that, I just go over to the name of that filter. In this case, it's Add Noise. And then I'll double click. And then that same window pops up that we were just in. So here maybe I can decrease it, click OK, and now I've added a nice grain quality to my photograph. 